Vanilla ice cream. What's the difference between a cheap vanilla ice cream and an expensive one? You know when you go and buy yourself a tub of vanilla ice cream, you've got some that are a quid a tub and then you've got others that might be three, four quid. Is there any difference between, like, posh vanilla ice cream and the normal stuff? I think it's just the brand that charges different prices. Vanilla is by far the nation's favourite flavour, but the expensive stuff can cost up to eight times more than the budget version. Surely vanilla ice cream is vanilla ice cream. What's different about that one compared to the other types that you can get? Probably not a lot, to be honest. So there's not much difference between any and really. I'm not so sure, so I'm off to France to get the scoop. Bonjour, France. I think we've just popped up out of the tunnel. We're heading to a top luxury ice cream factory just outside the town of Arras, in the north of the country. Bonjour! Bonjour, kids. Welcome to haagen -Dazs. That nice is to not meet you. an accent I was <laughs> expecting. I'm from Scotland. Oh! Yeah. But what? Do you live here? Yeah, I've lived here for 17 years. Alison Gray is the global quality manager. Now, that's an impressively big job. So who better to explain the difference between premium and economy? This canteen is so French. Look. Foosball. Or what do you call it in French, job? Uh, Babby Foots. Babby Foots. Boys are loving it. <laughs> right, time to get down to business. So this is where the ice cream is made. This is called the ice cream freezer. It changes from liquid mix into ice cream. So okay. into this barrel, you've got ice cream mix going ice in. Mix. Anything else? Yeah, we've also, this is where we add a little bit of air. It turns out that air is a key ingredient of all ice creams. Without it, the ice cream mix would freeze into a solid block that we'd never get our spoons into. But the big question is, how much air? We don't add a lot of air. We only add around 25%. Okay. And many ice creams are around 100%. Imagine these are pots of ice cream mix. So if we add 100% of air, we end up with two pots of ice cream. We add about this much, which gives us one and a quarter pots of ice cream. And who makes this kind of recipe? Oh, lots of manufacturers. So that's a pretty standard recipe yeah. for what? I'm guessing cheaper vanilla ice cream manufacturers. Yes. From the cheapest of ingredients, our next stop is one of the most expensive. So this is where we add the vanilla. Look at that. So this is 100% uh, from vanilla pods. Gosh, that's strong, isn't yeah. it? There are other types of vanilla flavourings you can use, which are from other sources, which is synthesised from something like perhaps wood. And how much more expensive is a premium vanilla extract like this compared to an artificial vanilla flavouring? Huge. Is it Don't really? spill it. Really? <laughs> so what, it's, it's quite precious what I've got in this jug. Yeah. How much is it? I can't tell you, it's a secret. You can't tell me. No. Is, is it that expensive? Yeah. 